The motivation for, for starting such an event, I think has come from a passion for being outside. Dad has always been out there making sure that he knows every part of the farm and my mom has been by his side the whole time. You know, it's been quite an amazing journey. Um, Ten years ago, starting off with 56 riders. I shudder when I think what, what we rode 10 years ago. I'm almost embarrassed when I think now what we did, but obviously at the time it was the right thing because people started coming back. The race is obviously grown. Uh, with that comes a lot more uh, need to adapt, need to evolve. We've learned a lot. The first few years we went down my, my, my Jeep track and then I got this idea of mineshaft, Solis Foley and opening up all these cattle tracks with where the people come down now. What's really kept me coming back is the improvement in the trails every single year. Awesome free riding that I think the kind of rider that's here enjoys. They make it challenging but at the same time it allows for almost everyone to have an attempt at it while being safe. Me and Gary, we, we do a track and then we sit down and say, what do you think Mr. Average will think of this? So the main thing is to keep it nice for everybody. Weekend that, you know, you can create memories, but it's not too long. You don't have to take too much time off work and you can be back at work sharing war stories on Monday morning. It's priority fun, really. And luckily, Gary and, and the Greens and everybody who, who's involved here are all fun people. He's not trying to uh, do anything other than share the fun with, uh, with as many mountain bikers as possible. These people throw so much energy into this event and when you look into why they're doing it and you understand they do this because they like it. They do it because they love mountain biking and they want people to appreciate the, the course that they've laid out for them. Best two days on the bike and I've ridden a lot of single track in my life and to me this is some of the best you really get. It's, it's almost 100% organic, it's a lot of game trail and game always takes a path of least resistance so that just makes for an amazing myriad of flowing track and it's, it's real mountain biking. For me I think Spiencorp holds a special place in this race. It's iconic and it's probably one of the biggest battles that happened in the World War so for us to go bleed on the lower slopes and upper slopes of this Bianchup climb, I think, pays a small portion of respect to what, what actually went down there back in the days. 120 years ago, you walked up there with 150 rounds of ammunition, and lots of equipment, so there's quite a difference. It's actually a sort of sacred place where so many people have died. So, um, and for me, the highlight of the event is, is Bianchup. I think they get the balance right between awesome, fantastic riding, a, a great uh, tented environment, uh, and uh, just a, obviously a, a great camaraderie and like-minded people that get together. So you know, throw those things together and you have a, an awesome experience. Everything will play a role in a rider experience. I think what attracts riders to an event is of course the trail, but the, the lasting impressions is what you experience around that often. Do you remember things like good hospitality, good food, making sure that people can sleep in comfort, that the campsites and where they're set up are, are inviting? I find like the people here kind of gel really well together and everyone kind of sits together after an event and share their stories. It feels like we are part of a family as opposed to just a number at an event. Yeah, like I feel like I'm part of the furniture already. I've only been here two days. It's always got that kind of personal touch. It's something you can actively pick up on when you're here. And then they just link in the broader community from that. So it's, it's almost like this entire district's a family in a way. And they pour their hearts and souls into it. Involvement, I mean, that's the prime thing for us. And I think all the, the schools, the churches, all the staff, everybody is benefiting from, from the event. We all try to give back to the community. So we have a happy family afterwards. We all just love the trails and we all chat about it afterwards and that's how I think it should be. You must enjoy racing your bike. They've really done a proper job here in making us love riding our bikes, doing these unbelievable trails. I just want to go out there now and ride again.
I think they've reinvented the sport of, of, uh, of mountain biking, certainly in South Africa. I think South Africans are by our nature, we're pretty out there, we do some pretty extreme stuff and consider it pretty normal. So it's definitely extended the boundaries of what people thought to be normal in terms of going for a ride on your mountain bike. The sport is taking the average oak to another level. I think we, we all want to be more fit, we want to see what we eat and uh, I think it's good for our kids to see what adults could do on a bicycle. Yeah, I think the sport is, is very healthy and uh, yeah, we all want to, to be fit and live longer. I just hope that, that we can keep that going. If we can just keep that enjoyment factor. Um, you know, the guys wanting to come here, wanting to spend time with, with their mates, but spend time with colleagues, like-minded people. If that can keep the guys on the track, then, then we're very happy now. We'll see where, where the people take us and what they demand. Uh, we've got a few things already in mind. Something different. We, we will always be different from other races. The Bergen Bush, if you're a mountain biker, you must come and do this event. This is a must. Simple as that.